Hey guys and girls, welcome. This is Diane here from Design Creative. And today I wanted to talk to you about a new application that will help you build your WordPress sites locally without you having to set up a website online. Now, you can use this tool to create websites on your own desktop computer and even share a link to your clients to let them see your creation. Now, the only negative side is that this application is currently available for Mac users, but they are working on a Windows version, which should be available soon. Now for a little history lesson. Local used to be called Pressmatic, which was a company built by Clay Griffith. Yes, the same guy that bought you Headway Themes. Now, Flywheel, which is a WordPress hosting company, recently acquired this tool and has made it available for free, which is good for me because I was going to buy this last week. So, as I said, Local is an application which you can download to your desktop and install as an app. The interface is super simple to use and in this tutorial I'll be going over the complete basics. First of all, go over to local.getflywheel.com, enter your name and email address and download the application to your computer. Extract the file and download it to your computer. Go through all the screen prompts to install local onto your machine. Once installed, you will see this screen. It really is simple and easy to use. First, if I was you, I would go into the settings area and update your defaults so you can change your username, password and default email address for every WordPress site that you spin up. You can also play around with the PHP and MySQL version to your liking. If you like to use Terminal, you can also choose your default application here. Also, another cool feature to have is the demo URLs in the add-on section. Make sure that this is checked and we can talk about this later. Now, let's create our first WordPress site. Click on Sites and then Add Site. Here, we can put our site name, site domain, and site path if needed. Most applications like this never really allowed me to change my site domain, so this comes in super handy when exporting and moving the sites, because basically this means that you don't have to mess around with the URL or mess around too much in the database. You can choose your environment. And of course you can choose what type of WordPress site you want, whether it's standard or a multi-site. And you can change the default login details if necessary. Once you are happy with your options, click on the add site and local will now create and download the site for you. Now it's not the quickest install feature I've seen, but to be honest, it has some really great features that make it worth its weight. Now that website is complete, you can click on view site and it will open up in your default browser. Now, even though the installation was not super fast, the website is actually quite speedy. When it's live, you can log in with your credentials and you can see that it's actually pretty quick. This is one of the reasons why developers love working locally when it comes to WordPress, because the speed of things are amazing. So now we have our website up, let's do some cleaning up because I want to make this website a template for all my other websites. And this is what we call in local a blueprint. So first, let me add my basic pages. Let me delete the current post and comments. Let me do some general housekeeping in the settings area. And I'm going to add my favorite themes and my favorite plugins. Now that's done, let me go back to local. By right clicking on the domain, I can choose save as blueprint. Add the blueprint name and save. Now every time I need to fling up a quick install, I can click this plus sign at the bottom here and choose Add Site from Blueprint. 
The great thing about this is that we can make lots of different blueprints depending on the type of websites that we make. So for e-commerce sites, you can easily create a blueprint that has all your favorite WooCommerce plugins and themes in there, or a portfolio site, you might have your own custom post types that you use on a regular basis, which you can use as a blueprint. Another super cool feature about local is the ability to show people online what you have made locally. Before, if you made something local, you would need to export what you have done on your machine onto a live server. With local, it has a built-in tunnel which allows you to generate a link for people to view the site on their own machines without you having to move it to a live site. And this is great because that just means you have you don't have to sit there and be um, exporting all the files, exporting the database and moving it up, doing a couple of changes, moving it back down again. All of that stuff is just long in my opinion. If you can just create it locally, show your clients a demo of how it's going to look and once they've approved it all, then you can move it onto the live site. As you can see, this website is active as it has a green circle next to it. Now you can only tunnel sites or you can only get a demo link on active sites. So if the site you want to be viewed is not on, then right click and press start. Next, click on utilities and press to enable the demo URL. Once that's done, you'll be given a URL that you can show to your clients so they can view the site. But please note that once you shut down local or disable the domain, that link will no longer become active, which is actually a really good thing for you and your client in terms of security. If you need to see your actual files, you can click this button here to view the WordPress files on your actual computer. Sometimes I prefer installing plugins and themes this way because it's much faster than individually uploading it through WordPress. To view your database and export your database, you can click here and then choose to export your database here. So that's it for local, also known as Pressmatic. I've been a user of desktop server and MAMP for a few years, but I personally think for WordPress, local development local is definitely the way to go. Ooh.